Shiru Nui are an older zombie synchro archetype. Their primary goal is to use their banishing effects combined with zombies' inherent graveyard synergy to OTK the opponent. This variant opts to go second to take advantage of Shiru Nui's OTK playstyle and to use powerful cards such as Ghost Meets Girl, A Shiru Nui Story, and Lavavel Salamander. This deck also uses a small should all engine as a method to send cards such as Mizuki, Gozuki, or a Shiru Nui combo piece to the grave. Once the new support comes out for this deck in 6 months or so, a go first or zombie world variant probably will become more optimal. Our list is running 21 ultra rares, 10 of which are unique and we're running 19 super rare cards, but let's put this deck into a more viewable format. Let's talk about the Shiranui core to the deck. Our two main starters are Shiranui Solitaire and Shiranui Squire Master. Our better starter is Shiranui Solitaire, who at his core lets us tag out into Uni Zombie to set up combos. You can also summon out our two main Shiranui tuners, which I'll mention in a bit. If we go for Uni Zombie, the most basic play is to use Uni Zombie to send Mizuki to the graveyard, to then banish Mizuki from the graveyard to summon back Shiranui Solitaire from the grave. These two monsters let us make a level 8, a level 7 synchro monster. This is the core combo for a lot of other Shiranui combos and other zombie decks as well. Also remember, since we're going second, we can use Uni Zombie's level gain effect to target our opponent's monsters. We can send one from deck to graveyard and still make a level 7 synchro monster. This is important if we want to make the Vavil Salamander and Shiranui Squire Saga. Shiranui Squire is a very straightforward summon a Shiranui tuner from the deck. This play is very mediocre, but it can directly pull out a Spectral Sword Shade from the deck as an extender, making for some very powerful plays if Ghost Meets Girl or Shiranui Story is played first. If you don't have a good play to make going first, don't be afraid to just make the level 6 Inker monster by pulling out Spectral Sword from the deck. It's not optimal, but it does set up for a free level 8 Synchro monster on your next turn. Ghost Meets Girl is Shiranui Story lets us discard a zombie monster to summon a Shiranui monster right out of the deck, if our opponent controls a monster. This is the main reason we're opting for this deck to go second. It's an extra copy of Shiranui Solitaire, and it can pull out any other cards if you need to see them. Remember, Ash Blossom is a zombie monster, so that's a bit of extra consistency you have. It's not what you want to do, but remember, you can. Shiranui Spirit Master provides an additional special summon to get out more Shiranui's on board, but more importantly, it provides a banishing outlet for whatever you special summon using its effect. For example, if you summon Shiranui Solitaire off a of Shiranui Spirit Master's effect, you can perform the basic Shiranui Solitaire combo, tributing off Spirit Master instead to have Shiranui Solitaire's win banished effect for later. Here's a good spot to mention all of their win banished effects. Spirit Master, when he's banished, is a very simple target one card your opponent controls and pop one. Shiranui Squire is a draw one, discard one when she's banished. Shiranui Solitaire has the best effect of letting us summon one of our banished Shiranui monsters back to the field. Gozuki is one of the best combo extenders. He can be sent off Uni Zombie to banish a zombie in grave to special a zombie in hand, while also functioning as an Uni Zombie on the field. Shiranui Spectral Shade is the finer extender as it locks you into zombies, but provides insane recursion. Fun note, Gold Sarcophagus triggers any Shiranui Banish effects. It can destroy one, summon a Banished, or draw one, discard one. Shadal Fusion is an extra spell that lets you set up combos and give your cards protection. By sending Shadal Hedgehog and Mizuki to Grave, you can summon El Shadal Shekinaga, which can convert a spell resolving into a free monster negate and draw with an extender in Grave. Of course, we have other options to send as well. We can make the Fire Shadal to send one of our Shiranui Tuners to Grave to extend our combo. And of course, we're wanting Winda as a potential blowout and lockdown. So let's go over the massive list of cards we're running to make going second possible. 3 Maxi, 3 Ash Blossom, and 2 Cyframe Gamma. We're also running 3 Lightning Storm to deal with back row decks. Let's go to the extra deck. The relevant Shiranui package consists of Shiranui Sun Saga, Shiranui Shogun Saga, Shiranui Squire Saga, and last and least, Shiranui Samurai Saga. Shiranui Shogun Saga and Shiranui Squire Saga are the two main OTK enablers and extenders. Both banish your cards to gain attack, but Shiranui. Squire Saga lets us add in some removal as well. Shiranui Sun Saga lets you reset your banished and engraved zombie synchro monsters for some removal while also granting protection. Shiranui Samurai Saga is only run as a target for Shiranui Spectral Sword. It's not good and should only be used as a fourth stepping stone. This package lets the player grind out games as the Shiranui engine loops itself very well as it is is an older deck. Lavavel Salamander is insane Shiranui support and you can't convince me otherwise. He draws you two cards and then puts two in grave, provided you have a fire type monster to discard. He banishes your Shiranui monsters in grave for a Book of Moon effect. 
If Lavavel Salamander can go off, you're very likely to OTK that turn. Chaos Ruler is a mill 5 off top deck. You can also add a card in hand from the deck, like Unizombie or Cypher and Lord Gamma. Having this option open as a more risky extender is very important. The other Synchro monsters and XYZ monsters are situational tools. Cypher and Lord Omega is crazy in grindy games. Number 41 Maguska, the terribly tired Tapir, is a backup plan for going first. Lastly, Beals of Diabolic Dragon is a great pressure tool for decks that struggle with non-destruction removal, or just decks that have to do a lot to out it. The Zombie Link package is mostly for extending off cards such as Shirinui Spectral Sword, Shade, and Shirinui Squire. It's also generic link value for zombies. The Shadal Extra Deck package just covers all the possible options for what you need. Our Shadal Shekinaga is, of course, the recommended choice. So, here's a bit of a combo guide. Let's say we have a bit more resources in hand than just a Shirinui Solitaire Synchro and Pass. If we have Solitaire and Mizuki in hand, we can extend our combos by sending Gazuki from Deck to Grave off of Uni Zombie. Gazuki will let a Spanish Solitaire summon the Mizuki from hand, and boom, that's a level 8 or 7 Synchro. We can then banish the Mizuki to summon Gozuki. Gozuki will then let us send another Mizuki to Grave for another Synchro play. This is a common combo, and it's the reason why we play Gozuki. Also remember, Ash Blossom is a zombie monster, so you can banish that from Grave off of Gazuki to save Solitaire's banish effect for later. So let's talk about what Shirinui Spectral Sword enables. Our optimal setup is for any non-Solitaire Shirinui and a Mizuki. This gives us an immediate way to make Vampire Sucker and get its effect off. At worst, this combo gets us to the Shirinui Link and the draw one off of Vampire Sucker. At best, this combo lets us reload our Shirinui banish effects and revive our monsters in Grave and our extenders. The big downside to this combo is you do have to set up for it. Overall, I think Shirinui's are still definitely a casual deck or tier 4 on the big tier list. They can do a lot of cool plays, which we'll get to see in action in the games I show in the next, but a lot has to go right for Shirinui's to work, and the build needs to be very tight to avoid bricking. So let's get to the part of the deck profile where I show off some games. Some of these I've won, and some of these I lost. You won't know what games are what to keep it exciting. These games should give you a pretty good picture of the deck's abilities and issues. Well, we're going to be playing into another window, Chance for Redemption this time. And it's another 60 card pile. Is this the same player? It does have a different name. Does anyone else notice that? Like, you're playing Master Duel, and you'll be exclusively matched up to the same, like, back decks, back to back. Like, I, I played a few games yesterday, and it was three Cyberdark players in a row, which is so weird to me. And then it was two Drytron players back to back. Now we're going to be playing against 60 card spellcasters again. Oh, man just went minus two from hand. Yeah, he really hard went minus two. Oof. Well, we'll follow him back. With a Shadal fusion of our own, but ours isn't going to suck. You know, let's add Dragon to hand. Because he's probably going to have some funky back row we'll need to worry about. What do we want to... Someone Mizuki, send Gozuki, make a Link 2. Probably want Uni Zombie. Scratch that. Let's... Although we do want to clear his face down monster. What do the Shadal... The Shadals usually have pretty low stats. And... We'll... we'll... Normal Mizuki. We'll give him back the Shadal Fusion, but that'll be fine. Yep. Yeah. That's all he can do. It's not... What? Oh, and he's Shadal Genius. Bit of a weaker card, but alright. Now we'll send Gozuki. Well, I'm not going to use that skill right away. Because we have time to do so. We'll use it after we dump something. Now, what we're going to dump is something we want to banish off of Gozuki. So we'll banish... How about I'll draw one, discard one? Bit of an unorthodox way to go about it, but... That's what happens when you play going second. Oh, 
And let's see what we get luck into. Ah, perfect discard. Now we're set up for next turn. How do I want to handle this? Let's dump something. I think I want to set up for a Beals play. I don't know why, but that's just what I'm feeling. This plan is going to be to make Construct, right? And Beals will just shut that down completely. Well, we could Chaos Ruler really to try to get value, but I think I'll take the more stable and the more stable play. Now we'll just make Blink 3 Shirinui Monster. The Link 3 Shirinui Monster will give itself some protection. So we'll have a pretty hard board for him to break with one disruption and a max C so we can hit more disruptions. Zelda Beals will be a flip monster, probably. We'll see what he does. Yeah, immediate Shawl Fusion. We gotta dig for resources. We're gonna counter that with a max C. So we're gonna force him to have to go all in this turn. All in or in a game. This is not an easy board to out. Not the hardest board ever to out, which... Let's just say making a singular window in passing might be a bit harder to out than this, if we're being honest. I'm not coping from my previous game. You can't prove that. Now he's desperately trying to figure out what to do. And, okay, so he's just trying to deck them to deck when he's going to negate the Beals. I was going to negate that. He's baiting out the out. Okay. All right. He's attempting to chain block it. to Ash Kumada, that'd be funny. Uh, no. I think the negating of Shadal Shekinaga is going to do what he wants it to. It's not a bad move at all, but he's going to need a bit more to out this. Falco, okay. Lamal, let's just cut off the draw here. Lock him into whatever he has in his hand. He's playing a 60 card deck, so who knows what he could have. Despia! Alright. He's desperately trying to figure out how to out my board. He'll get to pull out a branded opening. If he wants to go for the link, which he does apparently, okay. Verte! I'm gonna search something here. Oh, that's the. The the trap card will also out deals. Okay. Bit funky, but alright. Super Poly, alright. We'll activate this even though it's negated. Get some extra points on the dual timer. 
on the end of the dual screen. We'll make a window. That's pretty good, actually. That could be a problem. Oh! I would have winded there. But that is a play. Oh, he's about to swing into this and realize it can't be destroyed. You fool. I foresaw this. He had the negate. He just didn't read. As I always say, the biggest strength to Shiro Nui's is the fact that no one reads your cards. I'm just gonna shoot off fusion. I'm gonna pull out the fire one this time. And we'll be able to dump this guy from deck and get a draw. Now the question is, when do we want to lock ourselves in the zombies? Monster Reborn. All right. Hmm, we can synchro into a level six. Can we synchro into? We have another Uni zombie in deck, right? All right. He's out the board. Let's see if he takes this bait. Come on, use that Drago Stapella. Man, they're really out here making me pretend I'm a botanist reading these Predator plant names. Now, an important part to note, Solitaire will be banished whenever he leaves the field right now. So, this means we'll revive whatever we have, whatever sure new monster we have in our banish zone whenever he leaves the field. Now he's going to set up to negate the Solitaire. Alright, fair enough. See, I for one knew he'd try this. So, I have a backup plan. And now we get to do our shenanigans. Boom, guess who's back? Back again. Mizuki's back. That's how we'll win. That was cringy. I'm gonna pretend I never said that. Now we need to go ahead and put another Shir Nui in the graveyard so we can get something off of Solitaire. So we're gonna go ahead and banish the pop one with our Synchro from Grave. that. I can change an attack to zero, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Make the OTK a bit easier. Lamel. I don't want to lock ourselves into only being able to attack with zombies. So we're just gonna... But I do want to make a level 8 synchro. So we're just gonna discard one of our useless cards like the Shadal Fusion, which we'll get back if we do actually need it. And then... Hmm. What we'll do... Is then synchro out these two. And Solitaire being a level 1 kind of sucks.
then we can banish this to a draw one, discard one. One of the funny things I noticed that happens a lot with this deck is because of all the cycling you do, you end up being able to see more hand traps in hand just passively. It's really funny. Just get that immediate damage in. Let's see, what do you bounce, buddy? What are you setting up for? Oh, I'm not messed up here, actually. He's gonna summon back... This. Face down to interest, get one more from deck. Dragon for a draw. I'm just going to respond by max seeing him here. We're currently experiencing the biggest downside to playing Shirinui's. Because your combos are so just long, your opponent will take a break halfway through the game and then leave you waiting forever while, when it's actually his turn to deal with him. He's going straight into Beast. Okay, he's misplaying now. Unless he has something in hand that I don't know about. No, he does not. He just misplayed. He could have lived with like 600 life points. Well, he might, have only, he might only be running one Beast, and that could be the problem here. Oh, play, play, playing Chaos. This should be a bit of a better matchup than I think he's expecting. Because even if he rips one from hand... Oh, it's Dragon Link. Even if he rips one from hand, we can trigger their either Banished effects, or we can set up Graveyard. It's pretty neat. And let's see. Absolute Dragon, do you Special Summon? No, but you do search. Okay, we'll let that go through. We want to bait him. So I'll, we're going to hit him on the normal summon just to trap him out here. So we can max him. But Squire lets us pull out one of our tuners directly from the deck, which will be very helpful as an extender because we have Ghost Meets Girl, a Shirinui style story, in hand. A Shirinui story lets us discard a zombie, summon one Shirinui monster right out from the deck. So we can pull out Solitaire. But these two, these two cards in hand are an OTK. Straight up. And backing it up, we have Foolish Burial. So overall, I'm feeling pretty confident in being able to break whatever this man comes up with. Of course, he doesn't seem like he's much able to come up with anything. So, damn. In a pretty solid spot for a Dragon Link hand. He has the two he needs to go off. Probably actively looking up a combos guide. As a as we speak. Yep, now he's gonna do the standard play. Which I messed up here a little bit, but it's fine. I didn't expect him to summon this first. We'll lock him down here. Does he have the Called by the Grave? No. Okay. Neat. He's going to summon Rocket Synchro. He's going to immediately go into Heraldic Seal. Yeah, this might be a bot. Either that or he just really doesn't understand the deck. This is your finisher, not your starter. Yep. Or maybe just... It looks like he didn't want to lose immediately. To a maxi blowout, so he just stopped there. Alright. Let's see how he reacts to this. Squire is definitely going to be the bait here. Because it is the weakest thing in our hand. Because we really want... Ghost meets girl. 
to resolve more than anything. And he's just gonna let that resolve. So what we'll do. Is we'll get our first synchro off. Then we're gonna go ahead and use Ghost Meets Girl. Discard Mizuki. Now if he's smart, he interrupts the Solitaire. But I don't know if he knows how my deck works, so I think we might be fine here. Yep, yeah, exactly. So then I'm gonna go into a nice clean uni zombie. And we'll start setting up for our big plays. Alright. We're gonna go for another Mizuki dump because Mizuki's in grave. And we can just revive the Uni Zombie for the Gazuki dump later. Pretty clean, very simple place. I wonder what he's thinking he's gonna do with just waiting. Because my uh, plays aren't gonna get any nicer for him. He might be able to dodge the OTK. If he's smart about it, I don't think he's going to get overly far. We'll get our first Banish off. Now Spirit Master is live. I'm going to go ahead and discard Gozuki. Gozuki skill. Now I can Banish Shirinui Solitaire. To summon the Mizuki from hand. And summon our other Shirinui monster in Grave. That way we can do the Link combo. And immediately set up for a Link 3 or a Link 4. Pretty neat, huh? Now we get to... Banish Mizuki, summon back the Gozuki. So it can dump even more stuff in Grave. And in this case, I think I'm going to be a bit cheeky. And we're going to send the Shirinui Spirit Master so we can set up for a pop with our Squire Saga skill. There's the Shadal Fusion. Bit too late to really use that, but it's a good draw for a backup play next turn. Banish the Spirit Master. And then we'll go ahead and try to pop this. Now he has to use his Disruption here, and because he's using it now, we can ensure the OTK. He's definitely going to use it to bounce Shogun Saga, but I expected him to do that. Hmm. Yep. And he's then going to use this to summon one dragon monster from the hand or deck. But we want the OTK, so we're just going to go ahead and ash that. Now we're going to do some link climbing shenanigans. I'm going to summon you. And I'm going to immediately tag out. So we can get back our Spirit Master and one of our Mizukis. Pretty solid stuff. Now we have a choice here of immediately going into the Link 4 or Link Climbing to get something back from Grave. I think I want Skill Saga Supremacy out, so we're going to do 
a bit of link climbing. Yeah, we'll put you over here. Now we get to activate our Mizuki again. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just go for our... I messed up the zones here a bit, but that's quite alright. Our opponent's not going to get another turn. And we don't even have to use Foolish Burial. Although if the OTK doesn't, through, or doesn't go through, we'll dump the Spectral Sword. So we can Synchro Summon immediately into one of our bigger monsters next turn. And boom. Sure noise. Pretty neat. Let's see what our opponent's playing. Reasoning. All right. Uh, it's either level one or level four. Witchcrafters. Okay, we called correctly. Ah, shoot. He's playing the Shadal Injured and Witchcrafters. This is really cool list. So it seems to just be Spellcaster Turbo. With the Spellcaster Pile. I like the 60 card list. He's gonna go on the DPE here. Yeah. Magic Life Fusion is gonna make Dragoons? Can you do that? No, he's gonna make, uh. Oh. Winda. Okay, Winda's pretty easy to out. We'll just. Winda him back. More con we'll construct him back. That's probably the better play here. Witchcrafter Creation. Okay. Now, depending on what this back row is, we'll determine whether or not we can out this board. It's a pretty simple board, so we should be fine. Actually, that would have been helpful for our last turn, but it is what it is. Witchcrafter Patronus. One of your spellcaster monsters is banished in our graveyard, and if you do, add one Witchcrafter spell from your deck to your hand. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that one. Let's play a game. Does he have the Ash Blossom? It's not. Okay, well... We want to be able to just swing over that, so we're going to go on the Shekinaga. And we'll do the setup. Hedgehog. And we'll go ahead... Do we even want him to have this engraved? We don't. So we're going to go ahead and add Beast for a potential draw. Well, let's see. So this would lock us into attacks for the rest of the turn, so we'll use him in a bit. We only get one special summon, so let's try to... Let's try to up the damage a bit. So we're going to send... Zuki to grave. Oh. Yeah, we'll just swing over here. Yeah, there it is. Because that's going to return to my hand. We'll get the draw off. So here's your plan. We are going to get out of this situation by Ghost Meets Girling on his turn to set up for a synchro play that we can use to out this.
I was going to set up Witchcrafter Plays, which is going to be a bit problematic, if I'm being honest. Yeah, Golem R is surprisingly a bit of a challenge, considering how searchable it is. If we can get rid of window, we can clear it. Who's gonna swing over this? Yep. Gonna take the attack. Sucks, but we have to. And we turn on always respond, so main phase. Yep. Wait till end phase. And then we'll go ahead and go Sweet Scroll. No, I think we're gonna put Spectral Sword in the graveyard. And we are going to go ahead and put out Spirit Master so we can set up for a banish because we don't need. And he's gonna set up for his massive shenanigans. He's gonna set up for the Field Negate, I think. that. Hmm. The field negate might be a bit of a problem. How do I want to solve this problem? Hmm. Well, the most simple. He has the thing back in hand, which we don't really have a solution for, which sucks. But if he does that, he can't field negate. So we need some way to negate that card in hand. So how do we get to that? Salamander. And he'll bounce it, but we'll have the draw, so we should be fine. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. That's his one special summon. What are you special summoning? Yeah, the field negate, right? Oh, the pop one! Okay. So what we could do... Uh... Oh, not yet. We're gonna set this... And then we'll go for our play. So this is going to filter our hand, and then we can use its secondary effect to try to Book of Moon the window. He, of course, is not going to let this happen. But we'll still get the draw to discard too. Because that was an effect, we get to draw off Shit All Beast. Man, really is a problem that window. We'll go ahead and wipe. It's not going to do too much, but it is something. Damn. Really is some something how hard this is to out. Let's go ahead and flip one of these. Maybe some more hand filtering to help us figure out a solution. There's a Max C, although I don't think it's going to solve our problems here. Gotta love how powerful Winda is if you don't have a deck that can out it. Let's see, how is he going to push his advantage? He probably has game here, in all honesty. I can't really do much about that, but it is what it is.
Well, that's grass. That certainly will be game. I can't do a lot about that. Oh, and he gets the reset of his Shadal monsters. No! <laughs> oh, boy. What could we have done to out? Yeah, not a lot. Maybe we could have gone for a Baguska? But that doesn't get us Winda. That just... Yeah, we should have baguska negated the window. What? Yeah, negate the activated effects. It wouldn't stop Windows Floodgate. But it would stop him from killing me. Yeah, we should have made the window instead of Lavalval Salamander. Yeah, I misplayed. No. Oh. Because Plant... It would have kept us going, and he'd have a lot more of a difficult time to out that. Although, with the grass, I'm not sure how much it would have mattered. If you'll have an out. He's banishing my cart. Does he want me to pop this? I think that's what he wants. Which is a pretty funny bait, but... Maybe he's just taunting me because he knows I can't pop window. Gotta love that grass looks greener. What's he gonna summon? Oh, Aru. Okay. Yeah, well, that's game. As soon as he played, gr he had game before, but he activated grass, so he really had game. Okay. So we're gonna get Aurodon combo and have to play through two or three negates because we didn't open a hand. Fine. We're playing around the fact that he probably had called by the grave and a cross out designator in hand. We're big branding this. Big brain. How they're running this? Don't they have a lot of better options than this? I mean, if you get the effect off, you do a lot, but it's kind of whatever. A bit too situational for my case. I'm just gonna do standard sorts of plays. No word on combo. Such a neat design with Sword Souls, so all their effects chain block. One of the things that make Prank Kids so good. Oh, no. Oh, he's doing this for standard this way. Well, not so it's all, but uh. Ten Yishi. Ten Lee. Ten Yishi mannequins. Let's go. Potential protections. That's a bit lame. But we'll make it work. And whenever a card is banished, you can banish one card from both the opponent's field and graveyard. We'll see if we can't use that banishing to our advantage. But it could be a bit rough. Let's open it up with the Shadal Fusion to bait out the Ash. Do 
have the max C, so we might be able to come back. Nothing else. Well, this card to gain a bunch of attack is going to be a bit of an issue. I don't know if I want to be locked into zombies yet is the thing. We'll give him the pop and we'll put him with this. way that could have resolved. Oh well, what did I expect? Jump the sprite two more times. So as we all know, the best way to get around a brick wall is to beat your head into it over and over and over and over again. Now here would be the best time for him to use the Spanish himself. lock ourselves into only being able to attack the zombies. And we'll get to send our boy Gozuki. For a third dump of a Mizuki later. So we get to do his pop now. But it's gonna be a little monsters. Keep the Mizuki engraved. He'll be able to 
probably banish it. See how he reacts. Okay. You know, I'm gonna preempt the max here. He's gonna link summon. Maxi, my maxi. Okay. What does he think is going to happen here? It's not Nash Blossom. Platinum players, man. You never know what you're going to get. He does know I'm just going to check an Aga that, right? this because I really want that draw so we can ensure something goes off next time. Boom. Even if he has the board wipe, we've got him. Okay, I'll take my shit all fusion back. Why not? I like free hand advantage. Now because we did all that crazy stuff next last turn, we have a fully set up vanish pile that we can do some combos with. I'm going to immediately bounce this back to hand. sword in the grave. And to normal summon any zombie. I think we'll just open for game, and the next turn we'll set up a play. And if we don't kill him here, which we will, let's stop being mean. We'll set up for a link play to actually use the Shiranui link monster. Yeah, we just started. We waited a bit too long, like a jerk. We'll have to be faster next time. Thanks for watching. I think there will probably be one more video before we start wrapping up the tier list series. I'll see you next time.